Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about that little clip that I just showed you. And for context, that was a clip that Tweak posted to his Twitter less than a day ago with the caption of learning. Now, does this mean that Tweak is going to, without a shadow of a doubt, pick up Mega Man and put them on his roster? No. In fact, he's probably not even going to pick up Mega Man, but we like to believe on this channel. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down, is it actually worth for Tweak to pick up Mega Man, some reasons he could be picking up the character and where he would find success. Now let's actually talk about Mega Man as a character before we dig too deep into the reason it could be added to Tweak's roster. And Mega Man's a character that isn't super prevalent right now in the current meta, though I still think he's pretty good and I think could have a lot of success in the current meta. He's just fairly difficult and you don't have a ton of people reaching these super high peaks of them, though there are still some notable Mega Man players that do damage. You have Kamehameha who's sometimes using them as a secondary. You have Repo who's been getting some results here and there. MPG is another one I can think of. Peebnut, they do exist exist the Mega Man players, but it definitely wasn't as prevalent as it was in the early eras of Smash Halls, but where you had Kamehameha absolutely tearing it up, and that's because a couple of small nerfs to the character, but overall, he's still really good, still has some annoying pressure, and it's annoying pressure that I think Tweak could use exceptionally well, because one of the best things about Tweak is going to be his movement. I would argue that Tweak maybe has the best movement in the entire world, the way he's just moving around this game, it's actually ridiculous. On both Diddy Kong, Sephiroth, Wario, it doesn't really matter what character he's playing, and I think Mega Man is a character where his movement actually excels in Tweak's style of movement, just slowly chipping away at people, does a lot of mental damage. I think Tweak is a player that could weather that mental storm of just slowly chipping it onto people and getting the most out of your big hits, because that's where Mega Man's going to find his value. He's slowly going to do 10% here with pellets, 10% there, then all of a sudden he's going to get a Metal Blade into up tilt and be able to capitalize off it super hard, and if you aren't capitalizing off of those special hits, then you're not going to be having a ton of success, but that's, again, one of the strongest things about Tweak as a player is he very rarely misses the easy layups. And one of the areas that Tweak could immediately excel in Mega Man is going to be the fact that he is so used to item control with Diddy Kong, so he's going to be able to pick up Metal Blade much quicker than most people will. And Tweak's item game is already just phenomenal. It kind of has to be at the top level right now in current ultimate because he gets so much value off the items. But the way that Tweak is seamlessly Z-dropping on Diddy Kong is very easy to incorporate that into Mega Man right away. And Mega Man gets a ton off of Metal Blade. It's a massive kill confirm for him. It also does a ton of damage. And I think Tweak would be really exceptional at using it so that's already a pretty big head start from i already talked about his patience as well being another important thing but i think tweak with his uppy usage like specifically on rush just using it to get a better advantage state i think he would be amazing at that we already kind of see him doing this with diddy kong using monkey flip to get him extra spacing when he needs it tweak just makes the most out of every mobility option again i've already mentioned how tweak's mobility is exceptionally strong but when you have access to something like rush that can give you a super big burst he'd be able to use it while as well as metal blade control to be able to control certain parts of the stage now it's definitely not as strong as a banana or a rob gyro because once it falls and it's on the ground it's not really having any impact anymore but you could still do it to maybe cover someone hanging off the ledge you could also use it to maybe cover a roll into an up tilt there's many ways that you can use it to apply pressure and i think again tweak would just be amazing in the item usage aspect of mega man another move that mega man has that correlates directly to another one of tweak's characters is going to be his side b to sephiroth side b now, they are a little bit different in the specific aspects of it, but they both have the same idea of putting a time restraint on your opponent. If you get hit by the move, you now have to either get your opponent off you, or you are forced into shield, or else you're going to take a big hit. Now, Mega Man's does have the disadvantage of it does transfer to you, as well as you take damage from the explosion even when it's not on you, but you have that added bonus of your range with Mega Man is still really good. His forward air and back air are extremely disjointed. You have pellets, of course. No one's really going to get in you when you are spamming pellets, especially when that time restraint is around you and i haven't even talked about the usage of leaf blade yet leaf blade in general is just like a really annoying move you don't have to be super good with mega man to have good leaf blade usage if you throw it out it's likely going to beat your opponent's move it's just insanely big does a decent amount of damage as well just really hard to deal with in general even after the nerves and i can't even imagine tweak using it plus side b timings plus his usage on metal blade just all this stuff combined makes it seem like he'd be whittling you down so much into getting these massive hits like a forwarder, like a backer, like an up tilt in the most dire of situations. 
And then for the rest of Mega Man's kit, it's kind of hard to break down specifically where Tweak would be super strong just because we haven't seen him use it before, but we know his space and game is strong based off watching his Sephiroth, you know, his pressure is strong based off watching his Diddy Kong, and that combination of characters with your max range spacing slowly poking away, getting tit for tat hits, and this really explosive combo game with Diddy Kong where you're stealing stocks, feels like that all perfectly combinates into Mega Man as a character because he has ways to slowly chip you down, he has ways to steal the stock in a big way, he can go for some crazy momentum based reads, but he can also slow down the momentum and play super campy. It just feels like it's a perfect mesh of the two styles, but we gotta talk about the downsides because they do exist. And the most obvious problem for Mega Man is just going to be the fact that you're adding a third character to Tweak's roster, and it's also a high-maintenance character. Tweak is right now maining mainly Diddy Kong and Sephiroth. We've seen a little bit of Wario come in there in the past couple months, but no real Wolf, no real PT. It seems like those characters are full dropped, and even Wario is something that we see very scarcely. But for Mega Man to be added, you have Diddy Kong, who's one of the most high-maintenance characters in the game, both in and out of the game, just for stuff that you need to know. You have Sephiroth, who's extremely high-maintenance, it's in game that I imagine probably a typical amount out game just the amount of tech stuff that you have to know and then you have Mega Man who's high maintenance in and out of game so you're going to have two extremely high maintenance characters both in and out of game and all three of your characters are really high maintenance in game you're just going to need to be putting in a lot of work now tweak is someone that is very clearly capable of putting in that work i mean he's been playing diddy kong at the top level for like three to two years now i don't really know how long it's been but he's been doing it for a while so Mega Man is definitely someone that he could add i expect if Mega Man were to be added though it would probably sub out the sephiroth i can't imagine it replacing the diddy kong but i also find it really hard for him to be fully replacing sephiroth because i actually think his sephiroth is still really good so i doubt it would be like a full replacement but i think the Mega Man would probably take more of that secondary focus Focus because the amount of work that you have to put in with this character, it wouldn't be worth it just to be grinding up Mega Man stuff for like three to two hours a day just to put him in for one or two matchups. So if we do see Tweak starting to use that Mega Man, I imagine it's probably going to be as often as we see the Sephiroth. Next, let's take a look at the matchup charts, and we're going to be ignoring his actual performances versus players until later on in the video. This is just purely random Diddy Kong player paired up with a random Mega Man. How are they going to succeed matchup-wise? And the answer is, they do very well, because you have Tweak's matchup chart on the left here, and MPG's matchup chart on the right. Both their stuff will be down below, and if you look at the strong disadvantage here, the option coverage is insane here, because you have Duck Hunt being on here, which is still crazy that Diddy Kong loses so hard to Duck Hunt, but it is whatever. Then you have that in the plus two for Mega Man, so that's going to be great. You have Mega Man, so you can just force the Ditto, and normally I don't love forcing the Ditto, but when your name is Tweak and you're a top four player in the world, most of the matches you're going into, you're going to be better than your opponent, so forcing a Ditto isn't the end of the world. Again, it's still not favorable, but it's better than a plus two matchup for sure. Then you have Pac Man as well. Now, Pac Man, that's going to be your main flaw because spoilers about this disadvantage here. All of these matchups are either in the winning tier or the even tier for Mega Man, which is still absolutely insane that they cover each other that well. But Pac-Man, that is going to be your big issue. But you have this matchup chart here by Ned. And as you can see, Pac-Man is going to be in that slight advantage tier. And I think this was an optimistic matchup chart, so it might be more even, but still even is better than losing. So maybe you see the Sephiroth stick around for Ice Climbers, maybe uh, Pac-Man as well, even though Mega Man definitely could come out versus Ice Climbers, but Big D just kind of a scary person to try a new character against. So I imagine the Sephiroth would stick around for a matchup like Pac-Man, but outside of that, this option coverage is absolutely insane. Diddy Kong has a really good matchup chart. Mega Man has a really good matchup chart and they just complement each other so well and just in case anyone was curious about how the sephiroth matchup chart goes this is again neds on the left and mpgs on the right their stuff is down below but as you can see the matchups here are still amazing you have diddy kong but you could just you know force the ditto and also mega man wins versus diddy kong and then in disadvantage again this is an extremely optimistic chart so there may be some characters that are actually losing like Paulatana maybe should be brought down fox should be brought down and then it'll have a couple more issues but from this chart we just have the main ones being Greninja and Pikachu, which is again for two bad matchups in Greninja and Pikachu, not common characters. This is an extremely good lineup, so we could maybe, maybe, maybe see Diddy Kong get dropped by Tweak and have these two characters be his main ones and still have a very strong matchup. 
time spread, though I highly doubt that Diddy Kong is going to get dropped, but it's just fun to look at. Now let's actually talk about which top players we could see Tweak bust out that Mega Man versus the only players that he's lost to in 2023 are Meister, Zomba, Akola twice, Light twice, Lima, Spargo, Gluto twice, and Proto Bonham. It's kind of a crazy small list considering how far we've been into 2023, but also Tweak has been doing extremely well, so I guess it does make sense. And a lot of these matchups, I think he's probably going to stick to Diddy Kong. I think he sticks to Diddy Kong versus Proto Bonham, especially considering that he got the immediate run back, and also both those matchups are very good for Diddy. For Spargo, I imagine he's probably going to stick Diddy there. For Lima, I'm a bit curious because I think he could go Diddy Kong and he could go Mega Man because I do think that Diddy Kong does well versus Bayonetta. If you look at the matchup chart as well, Tweak would agree maybe his opinion has changed in the past months, especially after playing Lima. And Mega Man does do well versus Bayonetta, so it's not impossible that we see the Mega Man come out, but Diddy Kong is a character that does do well there. You have Akala as well. This is kind of the same thing. Both the characters are going to be even versus Akala because both characters are even versus Steve, but we also have Akala now who could counterpick to Aegis and Kazuya and Donkey Kong, which is scary problems. Though Diddy Kong does well in all of those matchups so i think it wouldn't be impossible that he actually tries out the mega man versus the steve on game one or two just as kind of a tempo mix up maybe it's that one extra thing that he needs maybe he feels like he understands aqua but he doesn't have the tools to do it with diddy kong or maybe he just doesn't try those characters at all and goes sephiroth because that is also an option all of his characters are kind of going even or slightly losing versus steve so it's not amazing but at least it's just another option to kind of throw in there because sometimes that tempo change of a character is all you really need zomba as well well, I imagine he goes Diddy Kong. I just think he does really well in that matchup. And honestly, I am surprised that he lost it at Battle of BC. But to be fair, Zama was playing insane at that tournament. So I'll let it slide for that one. But I think in the future, he probably sticks on the Diddy Kong. And then you have Meister, which I think is going to be Diddy Kong or Sephiroth. I don't think Mega Man does particularly well in that matchup. So those are going to be the majority of matchups that he uses Diddy Kong for or Mega Man for or Sephiroth. But there are two that I left out. And the last two people I have are Gluttony and Light, starting off with Gluto. And the reason that I separated Gluto is because he's actually the first person here that I would highly recommend he just does solo Mega Man versus. Because the record for Gluttony in 2023 is going to be 2-1 in Gluto's favor. Tweak did win the last encounter that they played, which is going to be in the Grand Finals of Kawaii Kong, where Gluto was able to reset the bracket, but Tweak ended up winning the entire thing. So the Diddy Kong still does work, and Sephiroth is a winning matchup, though I wouldn't really recommend Sephiroth versus Gluttony just because the way that he weaves in and out of your range with Wario is really annoying for Sephiroth to deal with, but I think Mega Man is a great choice. That's going to be a matchup where Mega Man is going to be winning. It's also going to be one like this guy. He kind of has your number. Now again, Tweak has winning, of course. It's not super one-sided, but Gluttony, he's clearly figured out how to beat Tweak. Sometimes all you really need is that character tempo change just to be like, okay, I was used to fighting this super fast-paced monkey. Now I'm fighting this really slow robot that's slowly whittling away at my health, and that's also going to be my main point for because we've even seen Tweak do this in the past. One of the first times that Tweak was able to beat Light after this super long street of Light kind of running over Tweak was going to be him switching to the Sephiroth at Scuff World Tour just for that tempo change. He was able to throw Light off his game. He's not used to this. Light still has his same habits on Fox, but Tweak, he gets to abuse those while on a different character with a different tempo. I think this exact same thing could happen for Mega Man. It's not a winning match for Mega Man, just like it is for Sephiroth. I'd say it's slight losing for both those characters. And for Diddy Kong as well, I could also say that Fox is probably going to be losing, maybe even closer to that even tier. But if Light starts catching on to Tweak, you know, he gets him down super hard. He adapted super hard from Battle of BC, he could switch to that Mega Man for a tempo change, win a game or two, maybe even steal a set, and if not, he could close it out with the Diddy Kong. I just think that it is such an underrated factor that people don't really do when they have these super big rosters is switching off to a character, maybe a specific stage that you're going to be stronger on, and throwing off people's tempo game, and I think the Mega Man could have an amazing use for Tweak in that sense. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In summary, there are both pros and cons to picking up Mega Man. The biggest pros are obviously going to be that matchup spread. That matchup spread is gorgeous. The amount of characters that you're able to cover there, only needing Sephiroth for one matchup in Pac-Man, that's got to be feeling good for Tweak. The downside, of course, is going to be the fact that if he does go with that Tweak Mega Man combination, it is going to be extremely high maintenance. Both characters take a lot of work both in and out of the game. Tweak is definitely someone with that elbow grease, though, that can put in the work and can produce results from though. So I'm excited to see what he does. Do I actually think he's going to pick up Mega Man? I have no idea. He tweeted one thing. We're grasping at straws here. But hey, it was a fun video idea. And I thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Curious, do y'all want to see the tweak Mega Man? Because hey, I know I do. I love this character. It'll be sick to see him back at the top level. But that's all I got to say. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.